Tonight's big story has been a big story too long for the family of a woman who disappeared three weeks before her wedding. A family that, as Natasha Williams shows us, is now bracing for a very unlucky anniversary. Jack, this Tuesday, the days became weeks, the weeks turned to years. It seems like it just happened. They say time heals all wounds, but for the McCown family, the pain caused by the circumstances is just too great. Not knowing has been the worst part of it all. Nikki's family says the happy 28-year-old would have never willingly walked away from her family, walked away from her wedding, which was just three weeks away. They say she would have never, ever just disappeared. Nikki did just disappear, though, and seemingly without a trace. She went to this Richmond, Indiana laundromat on July 22, 2001, and never came home. Now, 13 years later, although Michelle and her family has never given up, her missing persons case, clues, any evidence, has all gone cold. This man, a former Trotwood police officer, Tommy Swint, was a person of interest in the case, but as police closed in, planning to arrest him in the murder of another Dayton woman, he killed himself. What could have been answers for her family was not to be. We've dealt with them saying when people calling us, they found a body here, they found a body there. No body, no Nikki. No nothing, but the search for her baby sister will continue no matter how long it takes. Michelle and her family will never give up, she says. Nikki's daughter, who was nine when she died, is all grown up now and gives Michelle the energy to go on. Her smile gives me so much strength. And I know if she can do it, then so can I. But we don't want her forgotten because we are going to fight until there's justice for Nikki McCown. The McCowns will be holding a candlelight vigil and cookout to remember Nikki on Tuesday at 4 p.m. at the family home at 1508 South 9th Street in Richmond, Indiana.